Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. So this is most probably the video 4 of Windows Server 2022. In our pre previous video, we have seen practical implementation of promoting Windows Server 2022 into the domain controller. And we have also successfully joined our client Windows 10 as a member of the domain Server 2022. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the, one of the most important features that we find over here. That is the fine grained password policy so if you remember long back ago to the windows server 2003 there was no option actually in order to have a two different types of password policy there was only one option either you go for entire password policy as a simple or you go entire for the complex but later go version when we come to the server 2008 then the fine grained password policy was introduced but of course during the time of server 2008 the steps were a bit lengthy quite long but after we come to the server 2012 and onwards now the fine grained password policies are so easy steps that anyone can do it without any difficulties now we are going to see over here what is the meaning of this fine grained password policy so let's see over here i have a one user or let's say one object is been created one user is created now if i want to have that user password to be reset as a simple password let's say abc for example it will not be allowed why the default domain controllers password policy is the complex password policy actually now so in order to overcome this uh, it might happen that sometime you might need to have a simple password policy for some of the group members so in that case you will have an option that we call a fine grained password policy so in order to create the fine grained password policy so that you can also give option to have a simple password to your client as per your need you'll have to go to the tools then you go to the administrative this active directory administrative center now, after you go to this Active Directory Administrative Center, you will have to go to the, your domain name. Okay. Now, you will have to search it bit down to a folder called System. Okay. Now, double click. Now, inside this, you will find one option mentioning that the password setting container. Now, if I double click, it's empty. Why? Because we have not created any password container over here. So, I'm going to create it. Either you right click over here or you go from the option is same. Now, go to the name password setting policy now it will open this window now here you can give a name so let's say a simple password policy anything you write precedence of course give at least 10 or more than zero now minimum password length this was the problem for us that's a default setting actually so i'm going to give three that means abc that i apply and we don't want to use the complex password for that group of members or any of this particular users or the group of members who do want you want to have a simple password see in order to have a password in a network it has to be strong password complex password for the security purpose but still when we come up with certain situations certain circumstances that where uh, some of the users password must be simple in that case you can create the simple password policy using a fine-grained password policy that was started since server 2008 now so i'm going to give minimum password lane 3 and the password uh, you know remember for the 24 if you would like to change it it is up to you then you can remove it easily so that the password is simple okay see password must meet complexity requirement if i remove this one that means the member whom i am going to add it can have a simple password without having the complexity okay reversible encryption don't go for it okay it's not secure now there is an option also over here protect from accidental deletion okay if you would like to pro protect it it's okay otherwise i can unprotect because i also want to show you removing this fine grained password policy as well because if i click over here select this one it will not allow me to delete this policy okay now if you see at the right hand side about the password these policies enforce minimum password age obviously one has to be there maximum password is i've given 42 that means it's a default one and if you see at the bottom, sometime you might have come across the situation that when the user actually, uh, you know, accidentally give a wrong password, but after that, their system gets locked. That means their account gets locked. Okay, but after a few minutes, they can again retry their genuine password. But if you want, it, okay, it's a kind of your banking sector, this authentication failure actually. Now, if I enforce account lockout policy over here, and you see that option is given over here, reset failed logon attempts counter after 30 minutes okay now 
apart from that account will be locked out for 30 minutes that means account will be locked out for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes you, you can again try but if i select this option until the administrator manually unlocks the account that means even after 30 minutes that account will not be activated until unless an administrator manually unlocks that account this option is also here but since we are in a lab environment i'm going to do uncheck this one now the policy that i have created just now fine grain password policy that is simple password three characters length no there is no complexity and all the setting now which group would you like to apply that has to be selected rather than uh, you know thinking of applying a one particular user if you may make a group that will be much better so i've created one group let's say add a group that is this is the name of that group there is nothing no sitting is done in this group this is just a one group that is created intentionally in order to show you the practical implementation of your fine grained password policy so i have selected this password policy and done okay now if i show you over here fine grained this password policy setting here this is my policy if i want to edit it properties and i can modify whatever properties i would like to modify okay now since it is already done so if i close this one and I go to my objects over here. If you remember, this user previously it didn't allow me to change the password. Still, it will not allow me. See, it won't allow me. Why? This falls under the default domain controller's policy. But if I show you over here, there's one group. This group was selected as a part of your fine grained password policy. That means if I make this user a member of your fine grained password policy group in that case let's say simple password this is a group that we selected last time now in this group that policy was deployed okay this group policy is deployed for the simple password now since this user is a member of that group i can simply reset the password and give abc now you see over here abc now if i select okay it will allow me to select the simple password policy with the help of fine-grained password policy. Congratulations, successfully done. Now, at the same time, if I create another one user over here, let's say uh, test, for example. Next. So I'm going to give the complex password. Now I want to change the password, this password, into simple ABC, ABC. Now it will not allow me. Why? Because this falls under the default domain controller's complex password policy rule. Now again, if I make this user a member of the same group, okay, the same member. Now if I wanted to change the password to the simple password, it's going to accept it. Done. So this is the simple option that has been given by the Microsoft in order to have the fine-grained password policy. So I hope if you find this video fruitful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.